A Hamilton County assistant prosecutor says the man accused of being a part of one murder and conspiracies to kill two other people is a professional assassin. Stiles Hummins appeared in court today and pleaded not guilty to a list of charges, including murder, attempted murder, felonious assault, and conspiracy. Investigators say he shot and killed 29-year-old Brendan Phillips in Northside last year. We told you yesterday that police believe that Hummins could be linked to other homicides. An indictment alleges Hummins and another suspect cooked up a plot to kill another victim who was shot but fired back and hit Hummins. Police say they moved in and arrested Hummins and another suspect when they learned of a murder plot that targeted a third person. It is the state's uh, allegations that this defendant is a professional assassin in our community uh, and has committed numerous offenses of violence, not only as charged here, but against other individuals. He actually calls himself Ghost, and he brags that he is a, the kind of guy that if there's a target, he can pop up out of nowhere, kill the guy, and poof, he's gone. The judge set bond for Hummins at $2 million cash. Courtney Walters also pleaded not guilty in the case. Investigators claim she lured Phillips into a car while Hummins shot him. Walter's attorney says she told police she had no idea what was going to happen that night. Her bond was set at a million dollars. But the complicated case doesn't end there. Traitez Mackey is charged with conspiracy. The prosecution says Mackey was not part of the murder, but was plotting to help kill someone else. His lawyer says Mackey's involvement is limited to one phone call. And today we learned of a fourth person who was charged in this elaborate investigation. Danelle Woods is accused of ordering some of the hits in the indictment. The assistant prosecutor says police were forced to arrest him before the investigation was complete to stop a plan for another homicide. His bond was set at one and a half million dollars.